Hey everybody, this week you're going to be reading the poem called Jabberwocky from Through the Looking Glass. I wanted to make sure you know that you can listen to this poem right here at the top. All you have to do is press this play button to be able to have the audio version of Jabberwocky. There you go. From this poem is called a nonsense poem because there are many words in this poem that are nonsense words or um, invented, um, made up words. So I found a website that helps explain some of the poem and I wanted to share with you that this does come from Alice in Wonderland's Through the Looking Glass. And if you have never read the book or even seen the movie Through the Looking Glass, it's part two of Alice in Wonderland. And I would invite you to go to YouTube and look up some videos of Through the Looking Glass. This website will help you understand some of those nonsense words that are in the poem. For example, this says Bandersnatch, a swift moving creature with snapping jaws. Barogue, a thin shabby looking bird with its feathers sticking out all around. Brillig means four o'clock in the afternoon, afternoon, the time when you begin broiling things for dinner. Burbled. Possibly a mix of bleat, murmur, or warble. Frumious is a combination of fuming and furious. Gimbal, to make holes like a gimlet. Gyre, to go around and round like a gyroscope. Jub Jub, a desperate bird that lives in perpetual passion. Mimsy. A combination of the word flimsy and miserable. So this website I will post for you because it helps you to understand what some of those nonsense words in the poem actually mean. Now for this assignment, after you have finished reading or listening to Jabberwocky, and then you've used this website to help understand some of those nonsense words, I've also given you this Google assignment. <clears throat> Excuse me. And so in, through this Google assignment, um, I've explained some of the things that you'll learn throughout the poem. This is just a summary for you to read so that you understand a little bit more about Jabberwocky. Through Jabberwocky, you will be able to use context clues because there are several unfamiliar nonsense words in the poem. You can use the clues that are in the poem to help you determine what the meaning of some of these words are. So on the next slide, I gave you some of the words that I want you to use context clues and figure out what these mean. So we have the words beware, foe, slain, vorpal, whiffling, snickersnack, and fravgis. And I've told you what line each of these words will be found in. You will need to figure out if these words are a noun, a verb, or an adjective. And if you are not for sure what a noun, verb, or adjective is, watch this video that I linked here. In each box here, you will go ahead and type if the words here are nouns, verbs, or adjectives. In the last box, you are going to figure out the meaning of beware, foe, slain, and so on by using context or the other words that are in the line. Those words around these other words here will help you to figure out what the words mean. So again, watch the video if you need to about parts of speech. Type the part of speech in these boxes. In the last box, type the meaning of those words based on the context or the other words in the sentence. These are examples or definitions of some figurative language found in that poem. Onomatopoeia, alliteration, and consonants. So I've given you the definition and I've given you examples of each one of those. Here, 
I've given you a video for onomatopoeia, alliteration, and consonants. And then in this slide, you are going to go find an example of each one of these onomatopoeia, alliteration, and consonant consonants. So go to the poem, find an example of onomatopoeia, and type it here below. Find an example of alliteration. That will be a full sentence, by the way. Type it here. And find an example of consonants and type it here. Remember, when you finish this Google slide, you will click Submit. Hope this helps.